There we are. Hello, folks. Welcome again. I'm the one, the only hobo Tom. And if I look different, you know what? I was, I've been really bored. I figured it was time to clean up a little bit, get ready for Easter, because Easter's right around the corner. Oh, I'm so happy. All the meat, all the booze. You know, that first beer is going to taste so good. That first bite of the meat sandwich I'm making myself. It's going to be so yummy. Meat, cheese, and pickles with some mayo. And some cheese curds and french fries. And a big mug of lemon-lime soda and bourbon. Oh. And then if I get my unemployment check, you know what that means, folks. It's a coronavirus party, finally. So I can drink. And that's good. And these other people, they're probably drinking already. So I mean, it's time for me to give my shout-outs. I think, Tom, you only have one left. So, sir, you got tossed. Then Luda the Great. Thank you. I think you said yes to something. So I know it was some lewd thing I said about Nikki Cross, because Nikki Cross is the best. You know what? I think because... Wait, did I say that? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go to the Nikki Cross special. You, sir, are my tag team partner? Coomer Sumer. Yeah. Coomer Sooner. I'm sorry. You, sir, just told Nikki Cross to take it all off. Which she, one day she's going to do. She's getting close. Rocco! You have earned the six count.
goes for Sahara. And Nolo King. You, sir, are a master of the air drum. I do apologize for getting this up late. I was listening to the Jim Cornette. Oh, there goes the pen. There goes the pen. I was listening to the Jim Cornette interview with Kevin Zell Sullivan. Very insightful. And I got distracted by video games. Video games are just fun. Especially in this time of doing nothing. Um, actually, I do have... One, two... Jobs to apply for. One job to take an assessment for. So, so we'll see what happens, folks. But enough about that. I'm itching something because I was doing yard work, and I think... I don't know. I wonder if we can see it on here. What is it? So it's like, right? Yeah. I got scratched by something. I think it was all the branches because it's like one line, one linear scratch it feels. I'll take a look at that later. That's okay. You don't need to see about my war wounds. We get to talk about some Friday smack time because you know what's going to happen next Friday? Next Friday, it's going to be back to a red wine and pizza smackdown. Yes, Red Wine and Pizza Smackdown. You'll definitely, I'm definitely like very excited for that. It's been a while since I've had Red Wine and Pizza. Um, I'm trying to think. Next week, oh, it's Pizza Hut Pizza too. That's always good. So enough about that. Let's talk about some Smackdown. Braun Strowman comes, comes out. It's a little highlight package. He wears the belt good. He wears it around his waist. It looks good. It doesn't look small on him. It doesn't look big on him. I like that proportion. Proportionality, Braun Strowman should be champion forever. And then Shinsuke Nakamura with no Sami Zayn. But with a Cesaro. So when I try to make a knock-knock joke. And now that didn't necessarily work. So that was the end of that. And we get to our first match of the night. We talk about Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss defend their championships and a rematch against the Kabuki Warriors. And oh, it's so good. It's Kyrie Sane. She's an undead pirate again. It's great. She has her little parcel. That's great. It starts off really, this match starts off really fast. And by the way, Nikki Cross is the best. And I'd like to hear what you folks say. Has since leaving NXT, has anyone done more from sanity than Nikki Cross? Indeed. Oh, I should post that question. Oh, I should. Because Nikki Cross has been amazing. Oh, this is being, yeah. 
That's like one like s straight scratch line. It's just annoying because I think it's trying to heal too. That's okay. Uh, back to the match. She starts off fast. Uh, Kairi Sane goes for the quick drop kick. Asuka's so vocal. I love it when she screams in Japanese. She can scream easy peasy in Japanese, and it would be. It's just. She, without an audience, the vocalization of the wrestlers, even just Asuka just yelling random Japanese stuff and talking to Kairi Sane in a loud Japanese voice, and Nikki Cross going. Nikki Cross! It gets you excited because I was shocked. This this show went really fast. Sometimes SmackDown can be a slog. Not this show though. I'm impressed. Um, Nikki Cross goes Nikki Cross. I should write that down. So uh, then some other things. Let's see here. So Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross goes Nikki Cross. I'll tell you what, I don't care what... Oh, I know what the other comment was. It was, um... Yeah, so so I know the two of them, uh, Muda the Great and Coomer Sooner. Um, I put the question because eventually, like... Nikki's vest, it's, it's gonna come flying off one day. She just has that little sports bra. She has her way too tight yoga pants on, which, which don't... Which, which is funny... Because it shows everything underneath. And she has the typical Scottish white soft tummy. It's like, wow, she, she's a woman. She has no six-pack. Nikki Cross should never get a six-pack. Oh, I want to see that Scottish white tummy all the time. It, it, uh, I didn't realize how, how ample her bosom is either. And so she's been losing that fast, which is a good thing. Which is going to draw more male viewers, ages 18 to 40. Yeah, that prize demographic, whatever it is, 19 to 40, whatever. Uh, again, Asuka's so vocal. The Kabuki Wars, you do the, the, oh, amazing double team kicks. So poor Alexa Bush, she's getting like pounded for a while. Then Nikki goes nuts. Uh, Asuka gets on the table. She takes the microphone, starts to be on commentary. Asuka and Nikki Cross should always be on commentary for any woman's match. In fact, when eventually they're going to have Dana Brooke and I'll get to her. And uh, Carmella eventually, so they're still advertising for the Money in the Bank briefcase ladder match. So I don't know how that's going to happen. But if they have, but if the lead up up to that, because I think that's supposed to be May 9th. Let's see here. It's supposed to be sometime in May. I forget when. Let's see here. May. Oh yeah, May tenth. That's a Saturday. That's a Sunday. Wow, I did not know that. So I see either the tenth or the seventeenth. I think is was supposed to be. Um, money in the bank. I think. They've got in touch with people that bought tickets and said, yeah, we're going to refund it quietly. We're still going to have it, though. I think they're going to do like the same thing WrestleMania, which is smart. I mean, they own the facility. So that's good, too. And this thing's, I hate it when everything starts healing up at the same time. Everything just itches. It's a scratchy, it's a yummy. But, uh, so I'll get into that a little bit. But uh, Asuka goes up there to this commentary when Nikki's not, not, in a women's match, she, she has uh, Nikki and Asuka have to be doing commentary WWE. Uh, Asuka gets on the tables, grabs the headphones, start yelling. Nikki Crossing gets up on the table, goes nuts. She yells at Asuka. I don't even. Uh, There's probably such a communication between being bad, between Scottish and Japanese. Like the two of them probably have n absolutely no clue what they're saying. And I know it's Scottish English. But it's a different dialect than I'm sure whatever Asuka's used to. And Asuka's English is definitely very distinctly Japanese. So with all this said, uh, Alexa Bliss yanks Asuka off the table. Hits her head on the table. Then, then Nikki Cross just does a crossbody. And then 
she just like rips off her vest. It's so great. Uh, so it's a crossbody into Oscar. That's great. Then we get in the ring. There's a couple rolls. Spy Nikki cross. Alexa Bliss gets gets a tag in. Kyrie Sane gets a tag in. Kyrie Sane hits the spear. Oh, she has a pretty good looking spear too. Then there was a semi doomsday device. It's more like a lariat, lariat into a power bomb. It's not so much the electric chair. That was pretty cool. Then it was a DDT by Bliss and a twisted Bliss from the top rope to the outside. Nikki Cross hits a twisting, uh, her twist neck breaker onto Kyrie Sane. And I'll tell you what, Nikki Cross, Nikki Cross, she's the best. And, and then I, I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, I put some other notes in here on the side. So Nikki Cross is first in saying to get any gold. Did. Oh, yeah. Did Nikki, like, kiss? Did Nikki kiss and, like, lick? And, like, do other things on that tag team belt of hers? She likes that belt way too much. In fact, to open the match, the referee tries to take it with you. Like, no. Mine. My precious. My precious belt. Yes, you can't take my precious. Uh, but, yeah, she has a twisted place. And then. And I don't know what Nikki was doing, but she was just slapping her own chest. Like, not even the top of her chest, like, square, square on her boobies. Like, she's just slapping her tits for whatever reason. Hey! Whatever gets her excited and whatever makes her go, I'm for it. This match was fun. Nikki Cross is Nikki Cross. This is a surf and turf match. Then we have Elias, finally he gets to sing a song. Um, he called himself, I think, at one time, the Lion King, then came back as Simba. Again, obvious being tossed. Then we have Dolph Ziggler taking on Tucky. And Tucker Knight comes out, and Sonya is by the side of Dolph. Boo, Sonya Deville! Boo! Boo! And, and you know what? Just because of guilt of association... Boo, Dolph Ziggler. Boo. 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 I'll tell you what, then. Tucker Knight shows pictures of Mandy Rose and Otis working out. Otis just holds like a like a whole bunch of bananas. And Mandy's like doing weights and stuff. And I think in the last picture, like, like, like Otis is just like staring at Mandy's tits. It's just that like obvious angle this is a good match uh, Tucker starts off he just punched his dolphin in the face and boo Sonya Deville boo what a cunt I mean oh I, I should watch myself it is holy week um, and I blame Sonya Deville for all of, all of this nonsense I blame Sonya Deville for coronavirus too uh, so Nikki Cross is Nikki Cross, and I blame Sonya Deville. That's my title. Uh, so Dolph eventually gets up. Again, he gets out of the ring. Uh, Tucker goes after him. He's like, oh, you wanted to use the steps against me last time? Well, well let's see how this works this time. That wasn't going to go. He, the t Dolph gets slammed to the table. And boo Sonya Deville. I'll, I'll just, I just want to say boo Sonya Deville. I can't say boo Sonya Deville enough. <laughs> and then there was some kind of... Oh, yeah. Like, there was some, like, soaring cross body. That Tucker... Oh, there's a springboard. I was shocked. I'm always amazed when big guys heated, like, a springboard cross body onto Dolph. That was amazing. However, it only took one super kick by Dolph. Tucker Knight drops like a sack of potatoes. Boo! Sonya Deville. Dolph gets to the one, two, three. That was kind of a weird out of nowhere ending. Boo! Sonya Deville. This was a ham sandwich of a match.
There's a little bit of tag team recap of the ladder match, really just kind of like the end, so that's pretty cool. I do like the fact that they're not showing whole matches. I know Triple H is going to be would have would have been wrestling for 25 years come next Friday. So I'll have to think of something special to do that day. Maybe that's a little, little bit of the bubble to celebrate that. That might be a special show because I think by then it'll be like, okay, dude, we're out of ideas. But so with that, uh, it was a tag team ladder match. I do like the fact that there was a dirt sheet. And of course, next week, I think it's going to be The Miz, Jey Uso, and Big E. In a triple threat match. I don't know if it's going to be a ladder match or not. That'll be interesting. Then we have Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. The Lucha House Party taking on. Oh, I don't even know why they did this. Forgotten Sons. I almost forgot about that. Oh my god, there's still the NXT. I think so. Yeah, it was funny. Um, I think we were making fun of Blake because eventually Blake. And Murphy have to have an Alexa Bliss on a forklift match. Now that they're both on the main roster. A Lucha House Party comprised... I don't know where, where uh, Kalista was. It was Grand Metal League and Lindsay Dorado taking on uh, Wesley Blake, Brian Cutler. And then um, Jackson Ryder was on the outside. Lucha House Party is just so fast. Uh, so much of a contrast between the Forgotten Sons who are just more brutish. I mean, more heelish. Uh, Grand Metal League, he can walk the ropes. He can do anything. Lindsay Dorado, he can flip like anything. Uh, they the, the Lucha House Party is great. I don't know who doesn't like... Well, I know a couple of people that doesn't like the Lucha style of wrestling. But who can't appreciate men actually flipping around? And I know it's, I know it's choreographed, but also flipping other men around. Then there was the Stomp Reverse DET called Forget Me Not, I guess. The Forgotten Sons won. Meh. It's a ham sandwich. And Sasha Banks comes out in street clothes. And I think the new craze, because not only did Sonya Deville do this, boo Sonya Deville, but Sasha Banks did this, but she came out wearing like 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 a bodysuit like top. I mean, it looked like honestly like a really super high cut one piece swimsuit because you could see hip. I I saw a hip. But boo, Sonya Deville. I don't care. Boo. But but Sasha's hips. Yeah, whatever. And then Bailey comes out in jeans. I'm like, whoa, those are mommy jeans. Since, since when did Bailey become a MILF? Oh, wait a second. I think, yeah, that was the, the other thing I asked. Like, is Bailey a MILF? And of course, Rocco and Nolo King said no, but they obviously do not see the humor in this, though. Um, and Tamina says, you know what? Neither of you beat me. It took everyone to beat me. I want to fight you next. Oh, well, wait. Bailey goes, wait a second, Tranquilo there. To get to me, you have to go through her. Her first. And <laughs> Sasha Banks is like, huh? So yeah, that'll be interesting. I think, I, I forget if that's next week or two weeks from now, whatever. And then they start to announce people who qualify. And I don't know why they do this. Especially in the women's division, there's only so many women they have. They could probably throw them all in a ladder match and, and you still wouldn't know the difference. But I guess there's only going to be six or seven of them. A ladder match. Again, they're still advertising that. That might also be... Well, I don't know. I mean, they could just sell out every six seat. But then people already bought their seats, though. So, yeah, they can't do that. Because I don't know what's going to happen here in Daytona Beach for eventually... Oh, my old one. For the Coke 400. And that comes in August. Well, they just... I don't think they sold it out last year. I forget. I know I know like the pre races. Like the the Friday races, they never sell out. But I forget if the 
the 400 sold out. I know the 500 sold out. I I just forget. That's okay. Enough about that. Um. So yeah. So so that's gonna be a match. So it'll be interesting to see how they do things going forward. Then Sheamus comes out. He's taking on Cal Bloom. I wonder if that. If, I wonder if that this is Mike Bloom's kid. So I think I've seen him at the performance center. He's normally the guy that like checks you to make sure you're not bringing a gun or a knife, and to make sure you have a ticket because he just kind of like waves her on. So like, oh, whatever, get out of here. Uh, it was a very short match. Uh, Sheamus started striking. The Cal, to Mister Bloom's credit, he started to strike back. That didn't last very long. Then Sheamus had the ten shots, the bro kick. Cal tried. It was a can of soup though. And then we have a Jeff Hardy tribute. I think Jeff Hardy is going the way of the Dodo in WWE. Eventually he'll wind up with broken Matt Hardy and become Brother Nero after he goes into the Lake of Resurrection. The Hardy compound for AEW one day because having a tribute to him. Jeff is getting up there in age and he's the more extreme of Team Extreme. I mean, I don't want Jeff anywhere near like a 20-foot ladder. That just speaks for bad news. Especially for Jeff. <laughs> they had... They had he, he, he climbed a tree in the final deletion. They had like literally a cherry picker at the Apocalypto. Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the next, the next final match, we had Braun Strowman taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. This was actually pretty fun. Um, Braun again. He looks right for that belt for some reason. It was weird. The, it was weird that they put it on him. It looks right on him though. Uh, Braun just starts by tossing Shinsuke Na Na Nakamura around a little bit. Uh, Shinsuke does knee him because uh, at one time Braun threw him out. Braun, of course, wanted to chase him. When he gets back in, Shinsuke Nakamura is smart. Need him. Uh, Shinsuke, again, try to balance it up. He got launched into the barricade on the outside. Um, Braun Strowman then started to get kicked, and kicked a lot. Shinsuke, that's really all he did, I think, was a chin lock into the... Uh, Braun Strowman uh, coming down to a sidewalk slam. Shinsuke Nakamura goes out of the ring. Cesaro, Cesaro got these hands. He, he got train wrecked. He got, he got train wrecked over the barricade. That was great. Uh, then there was one Kinshasa, but that didn't do it to Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman didn't run in power slam. Shinsuke Nakamura picked up the one, two, three. And then, hey, brother Braun Strowman, yes. Uh, the Firefly Final let's recap about what happened on the screen came up, and then Bray Wyatt, baby, yes, Braun Strowman, I remember you. You were a member of the Wyatt family. So again, a little fire, and uh, and then Braun is next because the Fiend wants his title back, and we have some unfinished history, my brother. Uh, Braun looks actually lost. Uh, so I wonder if this is going to be the main event of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Uh, this is actually pretty good in the fact that it is referencing the history between Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt. Because remember, Braun Strowman was a member of the Firefly Funhouse. Well, not a little bit of the Wyatt family. He was kind of like the extreme muscle. Because it was Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, Luke Harper, and... Brody Lee, I forget, I forget what his name is now. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, Luke Harper. Eric Rowan, I'm sorry. No, I, I did get them all right. Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Braun Strowman were, was the Wyatt family. And then every so often, they would add people like uh, Daniel Bryan. They tried to add in. They tried to bring John Cena. Because you can't see him anymore. And that rambling rabbit. 
Wow, that Ramblin' Rabbit doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. He goes, Ramblin' Rabbit said, Ron, I like you. I want to get these hands. Shut up, Ramblin' Rabbit. I want to see Devil Vince come back. No one else likes that. So, uh, I think the only critique about this match is that Braun seems kind of lost without that crowd. Get these hands! And no one's saying it back. It's like, whoa. So that's kind of weird. This was another fun match. This was a good... I thought what the ending was best. The match itself was a good cheeseburger match, though. And that was raw, folks. Oh, wow. Did I mention that? Oh, yeah. I think I already did. The mid-card act. So... I gotta take a quasi break. Um, the schedule for next week. Oh shoot, I do need this, but I have to figure out who's getting what. But as far as next week goes, Sunday, 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 Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. So we're gonna have a special from the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. We have the Easter matches going on, and we're gonna have Easter Mania. That's awesome. I have to find a, a jacked, a muscular bunny rabbit. So it'll be Easter Mania. Uh, Monday, it's going to be Monday Night Raw. Tuesday, I will still be live streaming unless something good happens. So I'll be doing that. I do have to check on that as well. Wednesday, it'll be AEW, and I have to go to the grocery store. Thursday, I'm off. Fridays, oh, red wine and pizza smackdown. Finally, yes! And Saturday, Sunday, I'm off. So I gotta relax a little bit. So everyone else stay well. Hope I'm providing some form of entertainment. And I'll see everyone later. Bye. Oh, there's a stop button. <laughs>